This video is an AI-based parody created for satire and entertainment purposes. All voices, conversations, and scenarios are artificially generated and do not represent the actual opinions, actions, or voices of any individuals mentioned. Finally back to Firelink. Feels like a lifetime ago since I was here. And looks like you're not the only one who made it back. Oh, it's Sigi, my friend. How are you? Fancy meeting you here. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. You know, I was thinking the gate, the old pope. Is that your doing? Why, yes, it was me. I rang both bells of awakening. Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This night of Catalina thanks you sincerely. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. A miracle kind of useless for this build, but thanks. There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> I'll be honest here, Onion Man. You're not a very good adventurer. He's an incompetent man who is extremely underqualified for his job. Reminds me of you there, Joe. Well, he reminds me of you because he's fat as shit and he is overselling himself to make himself look better than he actually is. Okay, okay, before this gets too much worse. Joe, why don't you go back down to where the firekeeper was? Oh yeah, you guys said not to use that firekeeper soul. Wait, oh my goodness, she's back. Yep, yeah, if you get it back from Law Trek, you can restore her. Thank you. I am Anastasia of Astora. Now I can continue my duty as a keeper. But I only hope that my impure tongue does not offend. Impure tongue? I'll be the judge of what that tongue do shoddy. I have 911 typed up if you don't chill out, Joe. Forgive me. I am impure. My tongue never intended for restoration. Please, if you have any heart, Leave me be. I wish not to speak. Well, damn. Rejected again, but unlike my predecessor, I understand consent. I have a compilation that is an hour long pulled up right now showing you grabbing small children that would disagree with you. Oh shit, looks like that wizard from the fortress made Hello it back to. I was waiting to tell you. Master Logan has returned, and he tells me that he has you to thank. Well, we are both in your debt now. Thank you, sincerely. He's just over there. Go along and have a chat. Hello there. I was expecting you. As promised, I will share my sorceries. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid that you are unable to learn the sorcery. The basic framework, you see, it cannot be taught. What the fuck? Your intelligence is too low. Is okay, yeah, you're too stupid to learn magic. You'll find your own way. Don't frown with regret. Peer forward with your head on. Well, thanks for wasting my time, you useless fucking nerds. Now on to the actual important thing and return to Frampt with the Lord Vessel. Wait, what the fuck? He's asleep. Oh, the irony for Joe to have someone falling asleep on him. Oh, so that's what that feels like. But how do I wake him up? I don't see a wake up prompt. Normally my secret service put ice cream in front of me to wake me up, but I haven't gotten any in the game yet. Just need to hit him here, Joe. No, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Well, and wide awake. Do not treat me like an old withering snake. Okay, Mr. Prehistoric Penis Monster, I have the Super Bowl gifted to me by Taylor Swift. Somehow that's not super inaccurate. Heavens, you have done it. You have retrieved the Lord Vessel. After a thousand years, it is you. It is really you. What the fuck was that man? <laughs> Forgive me. I really should calm down. Now, let us take that vessel on a journey. I assume that you are ready. Now, be still. The hell is he about to do? Uh, hey, what the fuck? He's eating me. I'm not eating you. Just watch you, old bastard.
This is the Firelink Chamber for the successor of Lord Gwyn. Now, place the Lord Vessel on the altar. Well, it's about time. I guess I'll just slap this thing down over here. Wait, hold on. Joe, don't place the Lord Vessel down just yet. Well, why the hell not? You have derailed me doing this for hours now. If you place the Lord Vessel down now, you'll miss out on a really cool NPC. You too, Barry. Well, fuck fine. So how do I get out of here then? Just use another homeward bone and we'll head down to New Londo for the next steps. Fine, but we do this my way, Jack. Back down to New Orleans, huh? Hope this place isn't as hard as the first time I came down here. With your armor and upgraded fury sword, the first half of this place shouldn't be too bad, Joe. And Bush better not join the call again uninvited, Trumpy. Relax, maybe one day Bush will actually join us playing one of these games. Who is this asshole? You weren't here the last time I was down here. Well, Joe, if you remember, that is the crestfallen knight from Firelink that told you about the two bells. Welp, he just killed himself, so bye-bye. But why was he even attacking me? Well, Sleepy Joe, he left because Framp's smell was getting to him. So, it looks like he came down here and went hollow. A very fitting end to an extremely uninteresting character. Oh, fuck me, I forgot about the ghosts in this place. How am I supposed to hit them? If you remember, we picked up an item called a transient curse the first time we came here. Why don't you read the item description? Yeah, these are vital for taking on this area. Limb of the victim of a curse. Temporary curse allows engagement with ghosts. The only way to fight back against ghosts, who are cursed beings, is to become cursed oneself. The safest method, however dreadful, is to cut off an arm of the dead. Wait, so if I use this item, it will allow me to fight the ghost? Correct, but be warned, they only last for a certain amount of time. So be aware if the curse is still active before you go running into a fight. Okay, you spooky bitches, let's see how you like me now. Boom! One tap is all it takes. I'm surprised you even need to use the cursed item. You're basically a walking ghost yourself. I've actually used one before when I was with your mom, because I had to hit that in the afterlife. Fuck you. I'm going to come over there and send you to the afterlife. Holy shit, Joe. That was foul. Let's see here. I can kick this ladder down, then I'll grab this item up here. Hi, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, these ghosts in this area can go through walls and fly, so they can set up some really unique traps for you. Damn, just when I thought these assholes couldn't get any more annoying. We'll just stop running headfirst into everything, and you won't have to worry about it. Bitch, at least I can actually run. Even if you could run, I bet it'd shake the ground so hard that it'd break parts of the country off. Joe, you know damn well that if you go any faster than a snail's pace, you'll fall down and eat shit. And maybe a piece of the country breaking off would be a good thing, if it was like California. Well, Donald, I'm guessing you're saying that because California is a well-known blue state. But I think it's worth mentioning, California has a large population of right-leaning voters. It's just the majority of people live in the major cities that are known democratic cities. Shut, Shut the, the fuck, fuck up, up nerd. nerd. Oh, who is this up ahead, friend or foe? Well, this is a surprise. I get few visitors, save for ghosts. You have the Lord Vessel. Very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. This is the key to the seal. The four kings slumber in the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the seal and open the floodgates. Oh, and do not forget, the dark wraiths reside in a dark void called the Abyss. But the Abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, long ago, the Knight Artorius traversed the Abyss. If you can find him and learn from him, the abyss may prove surmountable. Wow, he just dumped a lot at me there. What's going on? Well, Joe, basically the only way to progress is to dump the water out of New Londo, and he just gave you the key. He also mentioned something about dark wraiths. I'm pretty sure that's not politically correct to say anymore. They are people of color. Fucking hell, Joe. He's not talking about African Americans. Dark wraiths are members of a covenant that feed on humanity and are one of the reasons New Londo was flooded. 
Like, I know that's true, but my funhead cannon says that the city was flooded because of a failed water park attempt after watching that Plague of Gripes video. Okay, looks like that key he gave me opened up this door to this lever. Let's see what it does. Oh shit, it drained all the water. That's right, Joe. Now the bottom of New Londo is explorable. I bet George wishes he could do something like that back in 2005 with Katrina. What the fuck, Donald? Didn't you get on my ass when I made the same type of joke earlier? I did, but when the joke like that is perfectly set up, you gotta take the shot. Oh man, I can't wait to explore the bottom of this place. Oh my god, what the fuck? Are those bodies... Well, Joe, when the dark wraiths overran the city and they flooded it, most of the townspeople were still in the city. There must be thousands of bodies. Wake up, Sleepy Joe. Yo, what the hell, is that La Parca? No, Joe, this isn't WCW, it's a dark wraith. These are what they flooded the city over? How are they still alive? Well, it seems that a dark wraith can't actually be killed. Otherwise, I'm sure they wouldn't have needed to flood the city. So it seems like the water was just keeping them trapped like a prison. Maybe when Trump goes to jail, we can just throw his ass in the Hoover Dam. I bet you have to sleep in a fish tank to stay alive. Just like a Bacta tank in Star Wars, you decaying skin sack. Man, it's so dark and scary in this place. I can't wait to get out of here. Well, the good news is there is a super important item just up ahead. Oh, a very large ember? Kind of like the one in the undead berg? Correct, Joe. The large ember you found a while back allows you to bring a weapon to plus 10, but the very large will take a weapon to the max of plus 15. Yep, it says it right there. I can bring my halberd or my Iaido to the max. Well, Joe, if you want a plus 15 weapon, it will take a titanite slab, like the one you got from the stray demon. And those are pretty hard to get. There are only three locations you can find them, but they are also a super rare drop from the Dark Wraiths. Yeah, so might need to buy yourself a tractor, because you'll need to do some farming. Wow, Barry, you proud of yourself for that one? I always am, Trump. Oh, shoot, there's a summoning sign. Which Beatrice? Why does that sound so familiar? Sounds like you need a top off of those dementia pills. She is the summon we used for the Moonlight Butterfly. This is why we summoned her for that fight. If we do that one with her, she will be available for the boss fight up ahead. Oh shoot, I'm at the boss already. I haven't even found a bonfire yet. That's the fun part of New Lanu, Joe. There is no bonfire here. Wait, what? Well, I mean, it makes sense. The entire city has been flooded all this time, so there is no way for a bonfire to be here. Well, shit, I guess I have no choice then. I got no bonfire and no Estes. Guess I'm raw dogging this boss fight. I guess the boss is at the bottom of this stair well here. I feel like we are forgetting something here. I mean, if it was important, then we would have remembered it, Obama. Shit looks like a dead end. No, the boss is at the bottom like you thought, Joe. Well, in that case, Geronimo. What the fuck, man? Oh shit, we forgot the ring. Oh fuck, that's right. What the hell, Sleepy Donnie and Sleepy Barry? Shut the hell up, Joe. We forgot because the next part is so bad that we suppressed the memory of it. Yeah, Donald is right, Joe. We need to head back down to the dark root basin. Well, fuck me. Okay, Joe, there should be a ladder just around the corner of this waterfall. Okay, I see it. Guess I'll start heading on up. Yeah, head up that ladder and it will lead us to Artorias. The Abyss Walker's grave. It's said that it holds the secrets to his ability to not be consumed by the Abyss. I'd still in a dream. Stay keen alive. Yeah, what the fuck was that, Joe? Yeah, was that Metal Gear? Oh, sorry, gentlemen. Sometimes when I climb long ladders in games, I can't help but think of my old war buddies back in the 60s. Joe, two things wrong with what you just said. One, you were never in the military. And two, I'm pretty sure you are thinking of Metal Gear Solid 3. No, no, I served with an elite unit called FOX, and we went on a highly classified mission, Operation Snake Eater. Yep, that's the cue to have your handlers send in another dose of your pills there, Sleepy Joe. This is still all very hush-hush, so I doubt a draft dodger like you would understand. I'm still in a dream, yeah, I'm texting Jill right now. 
Holly moly, look at the size of that kitty. Trump, you better keep your hands to yourself. I'm sorry that thou art new. Thou fared well to find me. But cometh thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice true. Forget this. The legend of Artorius art none but a fabrication. Traversing the dark. Hm. Tis but a fairy tale. Have thine own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. What the fuck did she just say? First off, fuck you, Joe, for that little joke a second ago. And second, that is Alvina. She guards the Darkroot Garden. Just need to say yes here, and you can join her covenant. Oh, indeed. Thou art a strange one. Nevertheless, I feel some liking for thee. I'm Alvina of the Darkroot Wood. I command a clan of hunters who track down defiles of the forest groves. What dost thou say? Wilt thou not join us? Oh, yes, I believe we would suit thee well. I'm more of a dog person, but sure, why not? I am very glad. And now thou art one of us. Let us establish a covenant. And here taketh this ring. If thou wearest that ring, it allows for thine summoning. If mine senses reveal intruders, then I will summon thee. Fend them off, sir. I beseech only this. I shall summon others who will, by their honor, work tirelessly with thee. Thou shalt receive great reward, and whatsoever ye shall pillage will be A true agreement, not so. But thou must heed the golden rule. The clan is thy own clan. To thine kinsmen forever stay true. Dares not in any attempt to double-cross. Have no doubt, such wretchedness never will we tolerate. Oh, that was so much shit. What did she even say? Basically, you are a part of the Forest Hunter's Covenant. Ah. If a player enters this forest, you will be teleported into their world, and will have to kill them for trespassing. But the servers for Dark Souls 1 were turned off, so this covenant is useless now. Except now we can get a weapon later. I've heard all about you. I'm Shiva of the East. Captain of the Brigade. Let's teach you the clan basics now, as there's no time to chat in the midst of fighting. Except there is little in the form of rules, you hear? Fight and hunt as you like. Whoever's fastest gets the prey. That's the way we do it. Only, don't forget what Avina said. Traitors aren't given a second chance. For any reason. That's about it then. Don't worry. It's a good old time, isn't it? Great to have you with us. Good I'm gonna have to rename this to the QAnon Covenant, because I'm pretty sure I just joined a cult. Hey, there are many fine people there, many Maybe fine patriots. Yeah, I don't think so, Donnie, but really all the covenants in the game are cults if you break it down. What an interesting gravesite, and look at the size of that sword. I sound like a broken record, but once again, I'm pretty sure another berserk reference. Well, let's see what I can learn to conquer the abyss. Holy shit, look at the size of this doggo. This place is full of giant pets. That's the great gray wolf Sif, the loyal pet of Artorias. Yeah, Joe, and you are about to get the Biden Secret Service experience when they have to deal with your rabid German shepherds. Oh shit. Okay, you oversized mutt time to die. Put some respect on Sif's name. She is the best dog in video games. But she's a boss. How can she be a good guy if she's trying to fight me? A question for another time, Joe, but right now you gotta focus up. Obama is right. Sif can be a little annoying to deal with as she jumps around all over the arena. Yeah, but the key is here is just stay underneath her. Most of her attacks will either miss or do less damage. Holy shit, just stay still. You know you're right here, Donald. After this, I'm going to send an apology card to all my Secret Service members. 
for having to deal with Commander and Major these last four years. I'm always right, Sleepy Creepy Joe. Always right, my ass. Remember when you thought you could nuke a hurricane or use aquarium cleaner to cure COVID? Fake news, I never said you could nuke a hurricane. And how is it my fault someone drinks aquarium cleaner? Will you two shut up? You are not about to do that thing where you argue and distract me, not when I'm this close. Which reminds me, Joe, back off for a minute here before you kill her. No, you're not about to troll me again. No, for real, Joe, listen to him. Wait, wait, what's going on? When Sif is about to die, she begins to limp and struggle to even hold her master's sword. Why on earth would they do that? She looks so sad. And to make it worse, she's really doing this to protect you. She doesn't want you to suffer the same fate as her friend and master did. Oh God, what have I done? Do I have to kill her? I can't spare her? No, Joe, she is mandatory. Just give her a warrior's death and put her out of her misery. This is what she wants. It's her duty, Joe. Oh gosh, why? This is the worst. Sif, forgive me. Why would they do that? It's the theme of the fight. Two warriors bound by their missions, but only one can succeed. It's supposed to be sad. This is why I was telling you she was the best dog. She was just trying to protect you from the abyss. She was a hero, and you cut her down to rejoin her master. Oh, Sif, forgive me. <laughs> Normally, I'd make fun of you, but no, let it all out, Joe. Yeah, I stopped playing the game for a few days to process this my first time. Once you are ready, Joe, let's look at that ring and head back to New Londo. Thanks for giving me a minute, boys. Now let's look at what this was all for. Covenant of Artorias. This ring symbolizes Knight Artorias' covenant with the Beasts of the Abyss. Its wearer, like Artorias himself, can traverse the Abyss. With that ring equipped, you can now actually fight the boss of New Londo instead of dying like last time. Well, that was hands down the worst detour I've ever been on, but at least thanks to Sif's sacrifice, I can now take on New Londo. Sif will be remembered. Now let's haul ass back down there. Finally, now let's try this shit again. Damn, this place looks like what Hunter talks about after he inhales all that sugar in his secret bag. Oh shit, four kings, but where are they? I know your old fucking eyes can't see, but he's way over there across the way. But wait, it says four kings, but there's only one. Don't worry about that right now, Joe. Just get over there fast. This fight is a DPS race, so you need to stay close and try to kill him as fast as you can. Wait, he's dead, but he still has a bunch of life left. Oh shit, another one. Yeah, remember Sleepy Joe, it's called Four Kings, so there is more than one, and they share the health bar. Yeah, so you gotta kill them as fast as possible because they will keep spawning, so you don't wanna get swarmed during this fight. Aw, oh, fuck me, this is definitely like when Hunter inhales that sugar and starts talking about being surrounded and then starts screaming, nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. What the fuck is wrong with that guy? Wait, this is the fourth guy, but there's another one? Despite the name Four Kings, more than four of these guys will spawn, and they will keep spawning, thus overwhelming you. Yeah, but no matter the amount of kings are on screen, once the health bar hits zero, they will all die. Why are they like this, and why are they down here anyway? Well, Joe, they learned how to feed off the humanity of their citizens, which turned them into this monster you see, and also turned their knights into the dark wraiths. This is what seems to be the result of humans consuming massive amounts of humanity. Well. Then it's time to purge this place of these assholes. Oh shit. You have no more Estus and our one hit. You gotta end it now, Joe. Let's fucking go. That was for Sif. Good shit, Joe. That's what I'm talking about. You just beat the first major big bad boss of the game. And got the Lord Soul Shard, one of four needed to complete the game. One down, and I guess three more to go. Your favorite AI president, Donald Trump here. Thank you for tuning in to part nine of the AI President's Play Dark Souls. We are slowly making our way to the end game now, and I'd like to say it's been a great journey so far. If you are a returning viewer, I want to say thank you for coming back and watching this Let's Play unfold. Or, if this is your first time viewing, I want to say welcome. If you enjoyed this installment of the adventure, to please like the video, share, and comment. And consider subscribing to the channel as well as ringing the bell to know when a new video is uploaded. We are approaching 1,000 subscribers on the channel and it would be great if you were a part of reaching that accomplishment. Please look forward to the next part coming soon. But until then, this is AI President Donald Trump saying take care and have a wonderful day.